is back <laughs> undaunted, uh, and it's great to see her. Ava, it's just ridiculous uh, the way uh, the way they're maintaining this entirely discredited narrative. If you put up on the internet, oh, all you need to do is get a couple of shots, and then you'll have ninety five percent protection against being infected by the vaccine, which was last year's story and has now been abandoned as rubbish. But they they'd let that slide, but not anything else. No, clearly, I hadn't even seen that yet. But apparently these people are they're scared. People are starting to ask questions. Mm. And that's, of course, not what they want you to do. Now with uh, Justin Bieber, the same thing. You know, there are a lot of people that are asking questions. How How is it possible that a healthy 28-year-old guy suddenly has facial paralysis and, oh, it's Ramsey Hunt syndrome and we know now that you're uh, 160 times more likely to get it after COVID vaccination, but don't tell anyone. Of course, mm. uh, his wife, a mini stroke, perfectly normal for a 25-year-old woman, you would think. Um, and yeah, OK, sure. We don't know with Justin Bieber, right? We we don't know what his medical history is exactly. But it's just very, very strange that, like we said last time, nothing changed over the last two years, apart from the fact that everyone and their mother took this vaccine. And now we're seeing all of these young uh, people getting all of these syndromes or getting health complications that they normally should not be having at this age. And well, I mean, you maybe are just lucky when you have only facial paralysis and you don't have sudden adult death syndrome, as we talked about last week. Uh, it mm. could be far worse, apparently. But hush, hush, we can't talk about this, apparently so.